In this series, I accept the Project Zomboid no base challenge. The editing will be aggressive and the pacing will be fast. Hours of work on my end will be shown to you in mere minutes. My videos are designed to be satisfying and fulfilling, to give you that feeling of progressing through a video game without having to spend hours doing it. If you end up liking the video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the series. Survivor, Riverside. I'm a construction worker, which means I'm good with my hands, but I am a restless sleeper and I am clumsy, but at least I am stout. My name is Jeffrey Kitchen. Now I've got a sweet mohawk. Look at that beard. Let's do this. This is how you died. Hello there. Okay, spawn inside of a trailer. Let's turn off this TV here and find this zombie that I hear. Where you at, buddy? Oh, hello. Oh, looks like we've attracted the whole neighborhood. Come at me. No! 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 I'm scratched already. Are you serious? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Being clumsy is a genuine problem. We got to spread them out and hoping to get zombified there. That was a bad start. Gotta kill you. Come on, push him down. Get him dead. There we go. Right, you guys are in there. I'm gonna tear this up real quick. Bandage that wound. And hopefully, we're not getting zombified right off the bat. That'd be bad. Bandage this. Not with the dirty sheet. Not the dirty sheet again. Stop clicking the wrong one. Get it off of there. Click the clean sheet. Please don't be infected. All right, now, I think picking clumsy might have been a big mistake. No, no, no. Get you down. Also, having a weapon would be good. There we go. Get you killed. Do you mind falling down? There we go. Stomp your face. You, I don't appreciate your attitude. There we go. Another one bites the dust. You want some too? A lot of zombies around here. Smash your face. Push you back. Hey, who said you could get up? You're next. And squish your face too. There we go. Not having weapons is a problem. Can't get a moment's rest, huh? Well then, see how it's gonna be? Stomp that face. Haven't even had a chance to get a weapon. Polo neck sweater. I will wear that. Long denim shorts. Ooh, scissors. Nice. Pharmacy jacket. Good deal. Wear it. What's this green stuff we have on me? Is that the bandage? Hey, digital watch. Put that on my wrist. Nice. I should probably explain what the rules for the challenge are. You got zombie, I hear you. Hello, come at me. Wanna fight? <laughs> Mistakes are made. Die. Black choker. Always kinky. Denim shirt. Nice, more defense. But basically, the rules are pretty self-explanatory. It's the no base challenge, so I'm not allowed to have a base. Just gotta carry what I can carry on me and loot from building to building and stay alive as long as I can. Which means we don't really need nails or stuff for building, because we're not gonna build anything. Take that salt. Ooh, fresh frozen peas, I'll take them. Pineapple, strawberries. I guess we can read a couple books right here. The easy ones. Now we know how to make metal containers. You know what? Why did I even read that? Why would I make metal containers so I can't even have a base? Waste of time. Well, I guess we're done with that building forever. Ooh, jeans have better defense. I'll wear those. There we are. I'm not sure I need the scissors. Guess I can use them as a weapon. Doors locked, so we go in the window. Got some peas, matches. I'm really looking for a garden saw somewhere. That's gonna be huge. Carrots, ice cream, frying pan, nice. Our first real weapon. I should grab a can opener. The biggest problem this challenge is gonna be the weight limit, what we can carry. I think I will allow myself to sleep in a home I've already cleared out if I just happen to be walking past it. The main purpose of the no base challenge is I'm not allowed to, oh, hello zombies. I'm not allowed to bring loot back and stash it somewhere. Basically, I just have to like loot someplace, go somewhere else. I can return to some place I've already been in order to get some sleep. But aside from that, there's no like, I'm gonna stash all my stuff here and save everything here. That's a lot of zombies pretty this early on. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not taking this fight. This is too many. We're gonna spread them out. If I had a weapon that hit two at once, I would take this. But the pan only hits one at a time. That's dangerous when there's like three or four of them stacked up on each other. So we gotta spread them out. Oh, clever like. I like the pan, but it's not good for large groups. It's better when there's like two or three. Oh, wow. They, wow, they all just got in there real quick. Like, you know what? Y'all can stay in there. Oh, hello. I can handle these three. Oh, no. No, I'm out. See it. I'm panicked. Bye. We're already off to not a great start. I really shouldn't have picked the uh, clumsy trait because they can all hear me from a million miles away. Just gotta get away from these guys. Yeah, remember that I can sneak. That would help a little bit. Just gonna sneak away super fast. This little vehicle I could loot. I will loot you. What you got? Magazine. Don't care. He's not in there. Ooh, shotgun shells. I'm not gonna bother with walkie-talkie. They weigh a pound. I'm not gonna bother with it. I don't even have a shotgun. They're noisy anyway. Right, where are you guys at? Guess we're looting this place. Turn this off. Tracked in trouble. How you doing, buddy? Ooh, that was a good hit. Now, wasn't it? There you go. Oh, a couple more, huh? Those are some good hits. There we are. Take you out. Not so tough when you're spread out, huh? One on one, easy peasy. On your knees. I hear more. I hear you. Where you at? You're over there. Jacket, bloody. I'll take it. Leather jacket. Nice. I'll wear that. Shoes. Those are nicer than what I have. All right, zombie. Let's do this. Come at me. That's enough out of you. There we go. I should probably make sure I don't have an alarm on my watch. No alarm. Good. I hear a zombie banging around somewhere, but I don't know where. We'll loot this in the meantime. Eat these fresh strawberries because we're hungry. Get some water. Drink up. Fill up these empty bowls with water. Ooh, that is heavy. I'll take that lighter. Not much in here. Guess I'll loot this one next. Right after I. Ooh. Just gonna sneak back where so they don't all aggro on me. I saw all you up there. It's all for you. Time for a frying pan to your face. Ho oh, ho. You made poor life choices just now. All right. All right. There's three of you. I can handle three of you. What if we do a little bit of this? Hey, hey. Hey, no, 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 don't, don't walk away. Hey, why do they keep walking away when I hey them? This way, dummy. Yeah, yeah, this way, dum dum. Come here, dum dum. I'm over here, buddy. Oh, yeah, come get me. Nobody behind me. Yeah, just like that. Loom away from the rest. Well, I probably could have handled three. Why take the risk? I already got bit once. Ooh, holster. Nice. I will wear that. Good deal. Let's probably change that dirty bandage. Infected. Not great. I don't think we're zombified yet. Based on the fact we're not really getting sick, which is good. Oh, hey there. How you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. I swung too soon. Stay down. No good loot on you. Hello. You're all wearing ranger uniforms. Why is there like three rangers out here? Well, you're dead now. Police shirt. Ranger pants. That's a weird combo. They like going towards the TVs. Locked door, so we gotta go in through the window. Easy entry. Turn off that.
that TV. Battery. Canned soup and sugar. I'll pass on the battery and nails because we got travel light for this challenge. Bandages. That's good. That's about it for this place. Clear that one. Clear that one. Because this one's next. I see you over there, zombies in the distance. I see you. Don't think you can hide from me. You saw me from all the way over there, huh? That's too bad. For you! One and down. Let's go. Uh oh, I hear. Aha! I thought I heard a zombie in my ears. Woo! I love knocking them down in one hit. It feels so good. Hey! Nice. Boom. I love when you knock off their helmets or their little bandanas or whatever like that. And fork. I'll take it. Actually, I'll grab it as a weapon, but we're not actually going to do any farming. There will be no farming in the no base challenge. That'll be one of the rules. No farming. That seems very base like having a farm. Kind of figuring out the rules as I go. Basically, the general concept is no base, but we have to like flush out the details as we play along. We'll figure it out together. Yeah, this place is a dump. Gross. Drink up that water. You know what? I should probably wash myself up. Get this blood off me. Less likely to get infected, right? And again, it's taking forever. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, this house sucks. Out of there. I'm just gonna go down the line, looting these places. Any more weapons. Eat these carrots. It's better. I'm already getting pretty close to my weight limit. I'm gonna have to get real tactical about what I take and don't take. Looted that place. Did I loot this one? If the door is open, that means I've looted it. Locked door, but we can go through a window. Easy. Hello, person on the ground. You're already dead. Who killed you? And fork. It's a weapon, but if you look at my skills over here, you can see that I'm best at short blunt because I am a construction worker. So short blunt is preferred weapons to have. I hear somebody banging around out here. I deal with that. Who's making all that noise? It's you. You're the one making all this noise. Guess we can take out this broken glass. No, no, you don't use your bare hands. Oh, wait, no, I got a pan in my hand. It's just showing his hands. I don't know why it shows his hands doing it. Well, he's doing it with the pan. Oh, I don't like that slow walk he did over there. I don't like that slow walk he did over there, over the bed. Die. There we go. Somebody else is making some noise around here. You. Get back. I said back. You've been a bad, naughty zombie. And I will stop you from griefing me. Out of here. Get turn off this radio. Turn that off. It's much better. There's more zombies around here, though. Down here, huh? You guys are just everywhere, man. I do see you out here. Nope. Not today. You die. And you're next. Hoo <laughs> Made poor life choices. There we go. You're done. Open this window. He's really trying to open that window and not having much luck. Anytime now. There it is. Open there. Open that door. Or for the zombie, huh? Just need you guys to stop making all this noise everywhere. So I can never tell if you're right on top of me or not. There we go. Somebody else is still making some noise. I don't know where. Oh, back to looting. I think two bowls is enough to keep on us. We'll take the matches. Pass on the bleach. We're not farmers. So we're not going to take the seeds. Hmm. Should I take the leaf rake and the shovel? They're kind of heavy. 1.5 pounds each. I'll pass. I don't need the farming magazine. Just pass it up on the sweet loot because we have no base to store it at. Empty watering can. Oh, but it's so heavy though. I guess we'll take it for now until we find a better watering unit. Better water container. Ooh, cheese. Eggplant. I will eat that eggplant. Take care of that hunger. I'm going to drop the bowls and fill up the watering can. So heavy. We got to find a water bottle or something better than that. It's just too heavy. I think it weighs four pounds when it's full. You know what? I just want to try out the leaf rake and the shovel as weapons. See what they feel like. Just out of curiosity. Not that I really want to carry them around. They're super heavy. We're carrying too much. We got to drop some stuff off. Guess we can eat the sugar. It's kind of heavy and doesn't give that much hunger back. So we'll eat that up. All right. I'll see how good this leaf rake is. Find some zombies to kill. Canned soup. Just kind of looting it as I look for zombies. Matches. Onion. There's chicken, but it's, uh, I'd have to cook it. So we'll pass on that. Dead rat. Gross. We fought plungers before. They're no big deal. Not too heavy though. But I am overburdened. So I'll have to pass on it. No, I can't pass up a perfectly good weapon. So we'll use that up next. I'll drop the scissors. Scissors kind of suck. You know what? I will read that magazine. We might need to fish at some point. We'll read this. There we go. Now we know how to make a fishing net and get wire back in case we ever need to fish. We'll use up this plunger first. But here's a zombie banging around over here somewhere. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, yes. The perfect victims. All right. We've got two of them aggroed on us. Walk away so the other one doesn't see us. The plunger only hits one at a time or two at a time. I forget. It's also about to break. Yes, yes, yes. You'll do nicely. Why are you attacking that window when I'm literally right here, my dude? Yeah. Plunger to your face, nerd. And it's already broken. Wow, that broke fast. Leaf rake. Leaf rake's not bad. It's got some range on it. No, 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 no. I heard him coming, but I didn't see which way they came from. Leaf rake already broke. Time to bust out the hand trowel. There you go. Stab your face. I hear more come from somewhere. Down there, huh? Hand trowel kind of sucks. These attacks are kind of quick. They can kill them while they're on their feet. Keep on poking. Keep on poking. Ooh, the hand trowel hits two at once. I take it back. The hand trowel, not half bad. Not a lot of damage, but the fact it could poke two in the face at the same time, I'm into it. Back up. I said, back it up. Takes a lot of hits, though. Ooh, that's a nice little helmet you got there. I'm going to probably wear that myself. Just keep on poking. Eventually, he'll go down. There we go. I mean, it's all right. Hear that plunger. Put that shovel on my back. What else we got in the way of weapons? Put the frying pan still. That's about it. Ooh, hard hat. Yes. Look at that defense. Put that on. Watch for that mohawk. Oh, hello there. Would you like a little bit of trowel to your face? I think you would. Oh, it's broken. All right. Time for the shovel. Boom. Down in one. Down you go. Easy. Look at that protection on the head, though. 100% bite and scratch protection. Awesome. I need gloves, though. Something for my shins. I might need a different pair of pants because I'm pretty exposed with these. Oh, hello. You're making a lot of noise over here. I don't appreciate that. No big deal, though. Nothing my shovel can't handle. Ooh. Look at those boots. That's some good defense. Put those on. All right. The jeans have the same stats, but maybe they won't have like the tear in the thigh there. Put those jeans on. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. Now we got green and yellow there. That's much better. Also, looks like this jacket's kind of torn. We'll probably use something better there. A screwdriver. I will take that. Put that on my belt. Should probably change this bandage. Hey, we're good to go. Fantastic. Is this polo neck sweater going to be better than what I have right now? Let's try it. It is a little bit better. A little better on that shoulder. Nice. How about this hoodie? Is that going to help? Looks like it will. Eh, didn't hurt. Mm, we need to sleep. Need someone to rest my weary head. It occurs to me I don't have a sheet. So they could see me in here. We're going to turn off
vegetables, fresh zucchini, take that. Can't take the uncooked pork chop, I can't cook it. Take the pepper and the sugar. I don't really want to go outside while it's dark, so I'm just gonna wash myself up. Clean the rag too, so scrub my face up a little bit. There we go, and wash all our clothing, why not? There we go, all fresh and clean. Bring some water, we're overburdened, so I'm not gonna fill up the watering can, it's still pretty full anyways. Dig graves. Oh, you can dig graves with a shovel, that's kind of cool. Not sure why you'd bother, but it's neat. Eat that sugar, it's delicious relatively heavy for how much hunger it gives you. What can I drop? Why do I have wet jeans on me? Here are these wet jeans will help with the weight. Don't need those on me. Don't need a broken hand fork. We're doing alright aside from that. We're almost down to a proper weight. I guess we can risk going outside. Already cleared out half the neighborhood. You know what? I think I'm gonna make the rule that I'm allowed to return to houses if I leave some loot there. Like I could, like if I leave food sitting there or something, I'm allowed to go back for it. Die! Like as in like uh die. As in like, you know, I loot a house and then I go somewhere else to do stuff and then randomly later on in the game I stumble back and loot it like a second time. That's allowed. I'm not allowed to like specific store stuff, but like if I forget that I've looted a house or I happen to be coming back to it to sleep in it again, then looting it a second time. Looting houses multiple times is fair game. Oh, a shotgun, but it weighs four pounds. It's too heavy. Can't take it. It's too heavy. And shotgun shells too. You know what? You can't have some fun though. I'm about to make a poor life decision right here. <laughs> as soon as it gets a little bit brighter outside, I'm about to make poor life choices. Put that on my back. Hit that reload button. Reload it. All right. Who wants to get shot up? I'm going to be swarmed with zombies. I'm going to have to leave this area. <laughs> it's going to be worth it though. I want to use this shotgun. 